Julia. All right, we can speak to El Nathan John, who's a political satirist, a writer, and a lawyer in Nigeria. He joins us now from the capital, Abuja. And um, Nigeria is often, um, I would argue, mistakenly depicted as a as split uh, with Muslims in the north and with Christians in the south. But it's far from the case. That is not the case, is it, in Nigeria? Certainly not. Um, it is a, a common misconception to say that Nigeria is split evenly along those lines. However, just a simple look at a state like Lagos, which is in the south, and which is the state with the largest population in the country, one would find that there are almost always Muslim governors in, in that state, and, and that's in the south. There are also a lot of uh, uh, areas, pockets in the north, that have most, uh, Christian uh, uh, majorities. And so this description is, is not a fair representation of Nigeria. A lot of nuance is lost in that very simplistic uh, depiction of the country as, as Muslim North and Christian South. Indeed, until recently, uh, Nigeria was renowned uh, for the relaxed way that both uh, religions cohabited side by side uh, without any problems. How much responsibility would you say rests now with the leaders, uh, the candidates in the presidential election, uh, election to make sure that that stays the case? Because, of course, uh, any kind of uh, upheaval in the country could translate into a sectarian conflict. I think that Nigerian political leaders bear great responsibility in this regard. They need to, both before, during and after the elections, make clear statements about nonviolence and about their commitment to nonviolence. Because very quickly, although most conflicts in Nigeria that, that end up becoming religious conflicts don't start out so, it's very easy for existing uh, tensions to, to morph into religious violence. And so, Whoever wins the elections and whoever loses, they have equal responsibility to impress upon their followers that this is not a religious battle, it's not about religion. Whoever wins the election will have to work from people, with people on both sides of the divide, in the north and the south, with Muslims, Christians, and non-believers. And, and this must be clear and consistent. OK, El Nathan Joan, thank you very much. It's been really interesting talking to you, but sadly we're going to have to cut it short. There is a, a little bit of, a, of a, a, a audio, a, an audio problem with Abuja right now. Thank you very much, though, and uh, we'll have to leave it there. Unfortunately